Okay, and any dead battery troubleshooting, the first thing you got to do when you know the battery is fairly new is uh, get the battery up to charge. So we're going to put a charger on this battery. Okay, this is a typical trickle charger. That's all you need to fix this problem. So I like to make sure the trickle charger is unplugged first so there's no electricity going f to it. And uh, now we're going to hook it up. And the red one obviously goes to the positive side. Push this on there. And this one goes to the negative side. <clears throat> okay, once it's hooked up, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in together. And I'll start the battery charger going. It's normal at this point for the gauge to be all the way up to the top. That's normal because it is so the battery is so dead that uh, it uh, takes the charger to its max, and then the charger, of course, gives up for a little bit until it cools down, and then it'll come back again once the uh, charger is cooled down enough to uh, start charging the battery again. You'll hear like an audible click inside the charger. That means it's ready to go again, and then you just simply plug, turn it on. It's best to make sure that the, the key is off in the off position when you're trying to charge the battery. This battery is especially dead even though it's almost brand new. So you might have to do this cycle a couple times. Uh, bigger, larger battery chargers can do the job without having to do this, but uh, since we're using a trickle charger, which most people have, and that's what we're trying to demonstrate it with. So now we're going to let this go for a little while and we'll do some testing. And as you can see, as the battery's charging, the gauge is starting to come down now. And that's a good sign. That means the battery's filling up with electricity and the charger can handle the load no problem. So we're just going to let this thing go until it gets down even further. And then the battery will be charged and ready for testing. Okay, this battery's been charging for a while and it still won't start the car. So that's letting you know that the, as you can see, the charger's having a hard time to charge the thing up. And that means the uh, battery is no good and needs to be replaced. So the battery is no good, and we're getting a new one. It will not take a charge. The battery is shorted internally. Okay, once you're done charging the battery, you want to unplug the, uh, the electrical from the uh, battery charger. Um, it stops the voltage from going into the battery so you don't cause, cause any sparks on top of the battery, because if you do that, the battery has a chance of exploding. So you definitely want to undo the electrical first. Okay. Since the electrical's off, it doesn't matter which one you do first. You want to take those off, and now you're done charging the battery. That's how you charge the battery.